This is the SwitchBot Lock Pro, and it is the first lock I've used that connects to Home Assistant over Matter, which means a local-only lock that can help you automate the boring stuff. SwitchBot did send this lock to me, but if you've been following my channel for a while, you'll know that I'm a SwitchBot fan, and that is because I like their approach of building smart home tech that takes products you already have and connects them to your smart home. In fact, I recently used their FingerBots to connect my analog room audio system to Home Assistant. But while that doesn't look sexy, I think the Lock Pro does. The previous version of this lock was bulky and didn't work with any of my locks because all the little twisty thumb bars were too fat. But they redesigned this lock to work with any deadbolt. The US version comes with three different adapters, which I suspect will cover most, if not all, of the locks out there. The EU locks are a bit different, but from what I've seen are equally configurable. This lock can run on plain AA batteries, which SwitchBot says should last six to nine months. And they do offer an optional rechargeable battery pack that can get closer to nine months. They provide a screwdriver as well as this blue sticker. As someone that has installed and swapped door locks before, I couldn't figure out what this was for when I unboxed it. But oh man, turns out it's genius. The installation process is pretty quick. In fact, it took me longer to read the instructions than it did to install the lock, which of course I read after I started installing this lock <laughs> because that's how you do things, right? I started by removing the old lock, which of course you have to do if you wanna swap this out. But if you've done this before, you'll know that the outside part of this lock is no longer held in place once you take this inside piece off, which has always been the biggest pain of changing out any lock because then you have to figure out how to hold the outside piece against the door while holding all the other pieces up and getting the screws lined up, all while staying out of the camera's way so you can get a good video. I wish these companies would think of the content creators. But that is where this blue sticker comes in. You just tape the outside piece in place. Then you have both hands to do the rest. SwitchBot provided two different screw sizes for mounting the plate on the inside. For a quick set lock like this, the smaller of the two screws were perfect. Once the plate was in place, you slide the adapter of choice on, and then you just press the main lock body into the plate. This will hold, but not exactly securely. For that, you'll need four microscopic screws and the included Allen wrench. If you've got big fingers, this might be a bit of a challenge. After that, put the magnet the lock uses as the door sensor on the door frame. It should be mounted no more than one and a half inches from the lock, which in my case is right at the edge of that limit. And you'll want to align it with the knob. Then it's time to set this lock up. The battery compartment is held behind this metal plate, which just snaps on using magnets. You pull the tab free and you should see a blue light flashing. For this lock, I suggest the SwitchBot Hub 2, which I already have, or the mini hub, which you can get as part of a bundle. That way you can leverage matter. Just follow the on-screen prompts. First, you lock the door, then you unlock the door, then you open the door about 3.9 inches, which sounds awfully specific. And I'm not really sure if it has to be exact because I didn't measure it. Then you lock it and that's it. You can enable cloud support, which is needed if you wanna use Amazon or Google Home and you can always turn it off later. But cloud services are not needed for Home Assistant if you have the Matter integration set up. So if you wanna use this lock with Home Assistant, or you don't have a smart home, or you just wanna use the SwitchBot app so you can leave the house without your keys, then you're done. You can use the knob to unlock it, or with quick key enabled, when the door is locked, you can simply press the center of this knob, which unlocks it. Pressing it again will lock it. And for those of you that have kids, there is an option to set it so that you have to hold that button in to lock it, which as someone who's been locked out of the house by a toddler, I can appreciate. The app will let you set auto locking features and you can still use your key outside. I do recommend having a backup plan if you plan to leave without your key because there is always a chance tech will fail. And for that, SwitchBot also offers this keypad which will pair with this lock and provide you the option of unlocking with a code or a fingerprint providing more ways to unlock your door. I'm not gonna show that in this video. I want to install this on a different door where the keypad will make using this lock perfect, but that requires a little more work 
that I haven't done yet. So we'll have to cover that in a follow-up video. But if you want a local-only smart lock for Home Assistant, and you have the SwitchBot Hub 2 or the Mini Hub with Matter, this lock is all you need. I don't have a lot of Matter devices yet, but those I do have, I've been happy with. Before we can get this lock connected to Home Assistant though, we need to pull up our SwitchBot app. I'm gonna head over to my Hub 2, click on the cog in the upper right, click on the Matter option, then under Secondary Devices, we need to add the Lock Pro if it isn't already added. I forgot to record a screen capture of that, so let's just pretend I'm doing it now. But you just have to hit the little plus icon next to it, and it'll be down here in this section, and it will add the device. After that, in Home Assistant, in the Matter integration, you should see your door lock. The only problem I have with this lock in Home Assistant is that we can't see the battery level, so we won't be able to have a Home Assistant notification fire when the batteries are getting low. So make sure for the time being you can get the notifications from the SwitchBot app. Not sure if this is a SwitchBot issue or a Matter issue, but since I can see the battery level in some of my other Matter devices, I suspect this is something SwitchBot could fix. But we can lock and unlock this from an automation. Like every night, make sure the door is locked. Which, frankly, going around every night and checking all the doors is pretty boring, but also pretty important. I've only had a little time with this lock now, so I can't speak to things about how reliable it's going to be over matter, given matter itself is relatively new. But given the attention to detail SwitchBot spent on the installation process, I suspect this is going to be a pretty reliable lock, and it has quickly become one of my favorites. You have so many options for controlling this lock. The quick key function, Bluetooth options, and adding that keypad gives you codes, the ability to set one-time codes you could share with friends, and fingerprint options. SwitchBot offers multiple bundles to fit your use case. You can just get the lock, you can get the lock and just the keypad, or you can get the lock, the mini hub for the matter features, and the keypad. I've always figured my smart locks would be Z-Wave based on the idea that I wanted local only locks. And this SwitchBot lock fits that bill. But for those of you that want Amazon or Google voice control, you have the ability to leverage cloud services. So this lock should fit that use case as well. And honestly, as of this recording, this lock bundle with the keypad is cheaper than the Ultralock Z-Wave option I bought a while back. And my Ultralock doesn't have a fingerprint option. We're gonna talk about this lock again so I can give you an update on the reliability and show off that keypad. But first, I need to do some light door modification. In the meantime, if you wanna add this lock to your smart home, I left some affiliate links in the description which help out Slacker Labs at no cost to you. Now I'm off to watch a how-to video on how to drill a hole in a door so I can move this lock. Scream at door. 